All right, this is the billing profile tutorial within Prism. And let's say you're on the main screen, you want to access the page, you go to the left bar, click this icon, and you, now you are on the main screen for entering in your billing profiles. So as you can see, Prism is preloaded with a test profile. However, in our case, we're going to go ahead and create one. All right, here, um, you just input whatever you want your billing profile to be named. We are going to write just in our case, test profile custom. And let's go ahead and fill in some random information here. All right, so if you're in, uh, I'm in the United States, but if you're in another country, you can click the, this little arrow, it'll show a drop down bar, or you can start typing out the country and eventually it'll show up. Same thing for state. Right, because I cleared this information, the zip code cleared as well. I'm going to input it real quick. All right, so if your shipping address and your billing address are different, you're going to use this little button here to toggle on uh, your billing address. So, this is where you input your billing address, and this is where you input your shipping address. In our case, we're going to go ahead and skip this. So on the right side, this is where you input your credit card information. So once again, we're using a fake name and information. Um, for Shopify, you can actually input 4242 for all the credit card numbers and it will still work. It'll, or actually, it'll still go through. All right, so go ahead and input uh, whatever you want here. And if you want your billing profile to only be able to check out once, you're going to click this button to toggle it on. Just be warned that with it's not just Prism, it's with any Shopify bot. You're basically uh, sending a lot of requests at the same time. And it's very possible for you to check out multiple items, even though you have this on. So if you're going that route, I just suggest using privacy and setting a limit for each card. All right, so you want to double check, make sure all your information is good and looks good to us. So we're going to click Create. It says Profile Created. All right. So now we're going to click view all in the top right corner. So as you can see, the test profile that we just made shows up right here. Um, the example one is right here. So let's say um, I want to go ahead and edit this. You right click it and now you can click edit. And let's say I want to change my, uh, oops, I typed in the address wrong. All right, so now we just input the change and we click update. All right, awesome. So if I want to create um, multiple profiles, but basically I'm going to jig the profiles and click duplicate. So you can see another one showed up. And let's say in this one, I'm going to write apartment two and input a different credit card. Click update. So now we got three of them. All right. So that's pretty much uh, billing profiles in general. We're going to go ahead and show you what these buttons mean real quick. So as you can see right now, I have all my billing profiles selected. If I click this, this is a pretty much a select all button. And let's say I want to group some of these profiles together. I'm going to click this little icon up here. And right now it's telling me I don't have any profile groups. I'm going to go ahead and create one. All right, so let's name this uh, personal. So this is just going to be so I know all these cards in this group are my personal cards. And what we're going to have to do is now, um, I don't know why I click create. Um, we got to actually select the profiles that we want in this group. So let's say I just want these two. So you can see the names popped up right here. And now we can click create. All right, and as you can see, profile group created. So what this essentially does is when you create tasks, um, you can, instead of selecting a single profile, you can select a profile group. And it will create a task for each profile within that group. So it's a super cool feature. Um, makes making tasks really easy and now we have the, these buttons so this is the export and this is the import button um, let's say we are moving from a local PC to a server um, this is an easy way to transfer your profiles so let's say um, I'm gonna name this uh, prism test oh actually you know what I was testing it earlier so we'll just name it the same one and we're just gonna rewrite over it all right cool so as you can see our backup is right here so now let's go ahead and use that select all button and we're going to delete 
all our profiles. All right, so as you can see, even the preloaded profile is gone. Now let's go ahead and import them back in. All right, and they are back. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much the billing profile tutorial.